Sandra from asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. Welcome to day 28 of Asexual Perspectives Awareness Month, celebrating our diversity across the spectrum and our individuality within it. So, do you believe if a sexual person had a relationship with an asexual it can work? And what do you think about it being fair or not? This is a question I asked of 46 asexuals around the globe in my Asexual Perspectives book. And this is a selection of answers from the Asexual Perspectives book. This is Samantha G's story. I think relationships between asexuals and sexuals could work as long as one person gives up something sexually, i.e. the asexual having sex or the sexual never having sex again. I don't think those relationships are fair based on what I said previously. So what did she say previously? I would only want to be in a completely platonic relationship, but I would have to know that person for several months or years to even consider dating them. And yes, they could be a sexual person. I would have to just wish for them to give up sex forever to be with me. If they go off to have sex with someone else that isn't me, then I feel like they don't love me or I'm not giving them everything they need in life. Victoria's story. I believe it can work if certain factors are given. One, complete honesty about needs on both sides. Two, willingness to compromise. If those factors are given, I believe two or more people can make it work. The asexual could compromise on having sex with their partner or partners, or they could be in an open relationship and the sexuals or sexual could have their needs met by other people. It always puzzles me when people say asexual relationships are unfair to sexual people in asexual relationships. After all, they are getting a relationship out of it, a presumably deep connection with another human being. People tend to act as though sex is the most important part of a relationship. Yet most couples break up for non-sex related issues. I think if all aspects, other aspects of a healthy relationship are given, the relationship can survive and flourish without sex, especially since the sexuals, sexuals can meet their own needs or have them met by someone else. People like to forget that aces can't help their lack of sexual attraction. And if they don't want to sleep with their partner or partners, it's for good reason, i.e. discomfort, repulsion, etc. I think it's a lot more unfair for aces to be expected to put out, especially repulsed aces, than for sexuals to abstain from having sex with their primary partner. Andy P's story. I definitely think it could work, like with any other relationship. You just need to find someone compatible. I'm not saying it would be easy. I just, it would just involve finding someone that could accept your limits and be happy with that. A big part of that would be accepting that happiness and not handling everything fearfully. If you trust them to be with you, maybe trust them to tell you if it can't work for them after all. David's story. Like any relationship, it would depend entirely on the people involved. Being an optimist, and as far as other people go, a romantic, I would like to believe there are cases where it could, although it may be more difficult for the sexual half. But in reality, I think it's unlikely. I think it would be fair if entered into knowingly and with acceptance. Waywalker's story. There are folks who believe this, having been married three times in a long-term dating relationship after those, I laugh at the starry-eyed naivety. There may well be that magical person who's the sexual desire and loves you enough to not have sex. I hope you find them. Lord knows I surely never have. I've heard of mixed couples who work out. Mostly what I hear is that the ace is in a polyamorous, the description given by the people I know who were involved, relationship. And their primary relationship is platonic with one person. But the other person has sex with other people. That is a valid situation. I cannot do that. I'm fiercely monogamous. 
So anybody with me needs to not ever need sex and be there for the long haul. Anything less will destroy both of us. Mixed relationships, inherent fairness or unfairness, is irrelevant on the larger scale. The assumptions implied by the question of whether being ace in a sexual partnership or sexual in an ace partnership are rooted, to my mind, in sexual normative assumptions. The only people who can legitimately answer are the people in the mixed sexual slash asexual relationship. And one and each one of those answers would be different because each relationship is unique. For me, behaving in a sexual manner was so unfair to me that it damaged me. I allowed myself to behave sexually when doing so destroyed my heart and soul and eventually even my sanity to a degree. For someone else, it might be a delightful, self-giving opportunity. Everyone is different. Claire Evelyn's story. I think a sexual person can have a relationship with an asexual, but it will be a lot of compromise and really depends on how the sexual person is. There are so many things going on in, in the relationship. There would be just another discussion point. Winita's story. I really don't know. I've read some articles where they have said that yes, it is possible. But personally, I think people should get together with people who have the same appetite as themselves unless they are happy for their partner to get their appetite met somewhere else as in outside the relationship i did consider that for a second that i would be happy to have a companionship with someone and they get their sexual needs met outside the relationship but i haven't found that person yet and realistically i don't know if i would cope d story first of all i'm certainly no authority on working relationships in fact, asexuality aside, sometimes I doubt if any relationship can truly work. But cynicism aside, I think it can work in cases. For one, every relationship has its sticking points and, as I understand it, sex drive mismatch is a common problem even amongst sexual folk. I think it's important the sexual individual be very comfortable not having sex or the asexual person be very comfortable with having it. Ideally, both. Hannah Lee Steinhardt's story. It can absolutely work. It really depends on what one's views on fidelity are, how sex positive the asexual is, and how willing to compromise the allosexual person is. I would never ask a partner of mine to give up having sex, but I might suggest having occasional one-night stands, as I would be completely unable to fill his, fulfil his or her needs. It honestly would take discussion between the two people the same way any other relationship. Think about a transgender person in a relationship that's not had sex reassignment surgery. They would need to discuss how they and their partner would handle that. And this should be no different. It might not be fair per se, but if you love someone for everything about them, then there are always ways to make it work. And not all of us are sex repulsed. So just because they are asexual does not mean that they will not have sex with you and enjoy it. So that's a really interesting, varied um, view on if a sexual person had a relationship with an asexual. Can it work? And is it fair or not? Now, when I asked the question, I had in my mind, is it fair to the asexual person? Because I don't think it's fair to the asexual person if the sexual person says they can live without sex forever and they, you know, if the person's monogamous and they say they can live like that and they don't. I don't think it's right and I don't think it's fair. Equally, I don't think it's fair if the asexual doesn't tell the sexual they're asexual and will never want sex with them if they're sex repulsed. You know, and I think... If an asexual is sex positive and doesn't mind having sex, I still think there needs to be a discussion in the beginning of the relationship about how much that actually you want it as an asexual. Because just because you're sex positive, you you know, your partner, sexual partner might want it every day or, or more than once a day. 
if you're sex positive, asexual, but you only like want, want it once a week, that's still not going to be fair or work, is it? But I really agree with that person, you know, that says about it can work. It's got to be like mutually agreed at the beginning. I mean, I'm fiercely monogamous. I cannot be with a sexual person who's going around having sex with other people. I don't believe they love me. They should love everything about me. There is a bisexual person that's going out with an asexual in this book. So, in other words, the asexual says, I'm with a bisexual person. And it wasn't even an issue for them. So, you know, that's great. So, there is a couple of YouTubers, young YouTubers. One lives not far from me and his girlfriend is sexual. And he is asexual and they don't have sex. And there's another um, channel, Abby Wells and her partner. He's sexual and she's asexual. And they're both having relationships without sex, these two YouTubers, with their partners. So there is hope that it could actually work. Now, in my Asexual Perspectives book, I am adamant I will never date or be in a relationship with a sexual ever again because I think they can't live without sex in the end. Now, if there happened to be a sexual that came into my life and utterly convinced me otherwise... Even then, I don't know if I believe them or not. You know, I'd want to believe them, but I don't know if I would. And something strange happened very recently. I became friends with a heterosexual Indian guy that's older than me. And I'm an asexual cougar, as you know. And I get attracted to younger foreign guys, not older. But this guy looks younger. And I'm really highly aesthetically attracted to him. And romantically attracted to him. And I don't know what's going on. But obviously, he's heterosexual. I'm asexual. I'm looking for an asexual relationship. He's looking for a heterosexual relationship. So we can only be friends. But, you know, we get on really well so far. It's been early days. And we've got loads in common, which, you know, it's, it's a similar mindset on some things, which is kind of crazy. But I just can't have the sex. I, I don't want it anymore. Don't need it. Don't ha want to have it. And it hurts as well. So unless he gave up sex forever for me, it's never going to work. And we can only be friends anyway. So I'm continuing my search for my asexual soulmate in the hope that I can find someone who love me for my personality just like I love them for their personality and who you know be my bestest ever friend love of my life soulmate all wrapped up into one and I can't do polymorous I personally don't agree with it for myself it's not healthy for my mind and you know I, I only want to be in a relationship with one person one guy despite having multiple attractions for multiple guys so I'm not polyamorous, but I can, you know, it's like a sexual person can get aesthetically attracted to tons of other people, but it doesn't mean to say they want a relationship with tons of others. I just, you know, I only want a relationship with one special person in my life uh, in terms of a relationship with a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Anyway, what's your views? Do you think a sexual, an asexual relationship can work and it's fair or not? Do you believe that a polyamorous relationship is fine? Do you think, you know, the sexual person can have sex with whoever they want and the asexual person can have relationships maybe intimate emotional relationships with whoever they want and they can see other people do you think um monogamy is the way you'd like to go and you could not possibly let your sexual partner if you had one um you know have sex with other people you know what do you think are you in a relationship with a sexual person how is it working out please post the comments down below i'd love to know what you think this is so important it's a really important topic because you know we're only one percent of the population which means a lot of us are probably going to risk at some point having a relationship with a sexual person because you know we're very limited in numbers and it's hard to even meet asexuals in person i do hold asexual meetups in exeter in my city by the way so, um, if you're interested in coming to that and you live in the UK, please uh, email me, asexualize at gmail.com or check out asexualize on Facebook and you can PM me there. Share in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to check out Asexual Perspectives on Amazon. Go and look at the book. There's tons of wealth of knowledge in that book. Pretty much all asexual answers are in this book. So do go and check it out. The links are down below in the description. And once you've subscribed to this channel, hit the big B.
bell button near the subscribe and you will see a notification every time I post a new video so you do not miss a single thing. Don't forget to share this video with a friend too and I will see you on the next video. Until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,